Hello artists and happy Earth Day. We are going to draw and do maybe possibly something fun. So and different. So this is the first line, really big long rainbow in the middle of your paper. We will be drawing a paint palette, but follow the steps by steps with me, friends. This curve, but look, I left a lot of room down here. Don't connect and leave some room. It's going to end up being like a curvy line. So the, so the next line you should watch right here will be a rainbow in the middle between them, but we're still not connecting them yet. Just preparing ourselves to connect. It's okay to make mistakes. You know, let's try again or erase it and try again. So I connected it right there and I'm connecting it right here with curved lines as well. Good job, my friends. Awesome. I am just gonna go over my lines really quick. I'm using a Sharpie. I suggest you friends using a pencil first, like always. Our next line is actually a shape. It's going to be a circle or oval right here, right in the bottom part of our paint palette. This is where our thumb usually goes inside to hold our paint palette. All right, next is a paintbrush. So I'm gonna start right here and go up there. Ooh, this might be a little tricky and challenging for some of us. So I start right here and end up there. So I'm gonna make two of them too. Again, you have a pencil, erase it if you need to, it's fine. Beautiful, right there, nice, good, nice. I also need a point down here. So one right here where the paintbrush ends like a like the letter V. It looks like the paintbrush is going through the palette. Now the paint bristles right here, this line, this curve. All right, I'll start to slow down a little bit. Don't worry, this video will be posted for you friends to rewatch later. especially because we have something very different and fun and exciting at the end of this video too. All right, here we go. Next step is right here, <gasps> rainbow line right here, but oh, we did not connect the bristles yet. Here we go right now. We will connect them now. Like the backwards S almost. All right, we're gonna make some lines on our paintbrush to give it some stripes and patterns, a little detail. I don't go all the way up, but you can if you'd like. Good. All right, we're gonna put a little fun face on our paintbrush. Two circles. Good. I had a little smile right there. Oh, all right. And then in those circles, you're going to make tiny circles again on the top. Right. And then I color in everything but those tiny little circles I just made. I'll add a little paint on the end of my paintbrush. Beautiful work, my friends. Good job. All right. Let's move on. Next step, oh, we're gonna add a face to our paint palette too so they can be best friends. Same steps, just a little bit bigger. We're gonna add those two circles, then two smaller circles inside those circles. Whoa. And then we're gonna color everything in besides those tiny little circles we made. Got one. And here's my second. Good work focusing. Yours is not gonna look like mine and that's okay. Everyone's different and unique. Here's my smile. Maybe you wanna add a tongue or make it a silly face with uh, wavy lines or uh, teeth. 
Now, here we're going to make our paint palette look like the earth. Just a quick reminder, this is, ex this is what a paint palette is supposed to look like right here. Holds our paint. And then here's what the earth looks like. It's got blue for the ocean. It's got green for the land to show, signify all of the countries that are on our earth. So we are going to make some squiggly lines around our paint palette shape. It does not have to look like Mr. Cora's whatsoever. Uh, and you can make up your lines as you go. It does not have to be perfect. Just making a couple, figuring out where you want your land to be and where do you want your water to be. Good. I'm just going to go over a couple of those lines again for myself while you continue to make your land lines and water lines. Water again is blue and the green is for the land. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at their best friends. Okay. So I want to write a quote and I would love for you to write it too, if that's okay. I wrote the T H E earth E A R T H the earth without W I T H O U T the earth without <gasps> art A R T I put a little flair, a little detail right there around the word art. This art is awesome. The earth without art is, I-S, just, J-U-S-T, E-H, eh. Because if you spell earth without the, letter, without the word art in it, if you take away A-R-T, art, in the word earth, it's just E-H. Eh. The earth without art is just eh. All right, let's see how I color it. <gasps> wow. All right. So now I want to show you uh, what you could do. You don't have to do this. You do not have to do this. But if your parents are okay with it, you can grab these materials and do it with them later. Okay, let's not do it during art class. If you want to do this later, you'll need aluminum foil. You will need a sponge and a container to hold water. When you do color your picture, it needs to be with crayon too. No markers. Don't color your paint palette and paintbrush with markers. You'll need uh, crayons for that part. Now with the tin foil, parents and students, when you rewatch this later, you'll need to cut your tin foil and then grab some washable uh, markers and make a design on the tin foil that will fit your paper. Do not have to copy Miss Decora's little tie-dye rainbow. If you want, go for it. I'd love it. This will get messy. I suggest newspaper underneath everything. All right. Put that to the side. Now You'll need your water and sponge. You're gonna lightly put water on the sponge. Not a lot, you don't want it soaking. You're gonna have to squeegee a lot of that water out. Just have a really damp sponge and, and just tap your paper to get it a little damp. You don't want it soaking wet whatsoever because if you get your paper soaking wet, it's gonna be very fragile and loose and fall apart. So I'm picking up a little bit more water, squeegeeing it all out, tapping the paper to get it a little damp. All right, that's good. Doesn't take much. Now, when you start to see this, that means that you're getting a little too wet, so you might want to stop. Take that tin foil with your design on it. Flip it around. Make sure your parents help you in lining it up nice and neatly. Again, newspaper works great, so you don't stain anything. And rub it. Give it a nice little massage. Getting all the corners. Rubbing it nice and gently all around. All right. Say a magic word. Do a couple magic fingers. Ooh. And you are going to reveal. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Ah, so fun. So, again, my artists that are in class with Mr. Cora right now, you are only 
going to do the drawing with me now and if you want to do this fun tin foil project you have to ask your parents later to do it with you later okay first things first is the drawing with Miss Decora and then later you can watch this video again on Seesaw or on your Google Classroom so that you can do that with them later and if you do the tin foil later please show Miss Decora I'd love to see the results have fun